You already know exactly what lick I'm talking about. Children and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wang Shop. Here's your good buddy, Uncle Ben. Sweet Child O' Mine by Guns N' Roses is one of those must-know guitar songs. It's just filled with all kinds of iconic stuff from that super memorable intro to the really great solos that are spread throughout the tune. In the third guitar solo, which takes place after the last chorus of the song, there's a lick that I've seen stump guitar players for decades. And it's really hard to tell what's going on since Slash kicks on a wah pedal right there and it goes by pretty fast anyway, so it's pretty hard to discern. I've also seen a ton of tabs for this that are just not even remotely close. But after listening really closely to the tune and also watching some live videos of Slash Planet, I think I've come up with what's actually going on there. But before we get into it, let's hear it again at step slash speed. As always, a full tab for this week's lick is available on my Instagram page, so be sure to go over to Instagram and look for Ben Alley Guitars, find the tab for this week's lick, learn how to play it, and then upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. Alright, for starters, as usual with Guns N' Roses, everything here is tuned down one half step. So I'm tuned E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. That's just kind of the normal for Guns N' Roses and stuff, so tune your guitar down one half step. Today I'm using this beautiful Les Paul that my buddy John Cooper of Cooper Amps in Knoxville, Tennessee let me borrow for a little while. It's got these awesome Porter Overdrive pickups in it that sound awesome. I expect a demo of these coming really soon. Like I mentioned before, Slash is using a wah pedal on this lick to add some accent and stuff, but I'm not going to use that. That way you can better hear the notes and stuff. So this is based a little bit on kind of a cross of E harmonic minor, which is E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D sharp, E, the Yngwie scale, and the good old minor pentatonic scale. So he uses a little bit of both in this lick. How he's starting off here is on the eighth fret on the G string, you're gonna play eight to nine. Notice I'm doing it with my second and third fingers. That way my first finger next can play the B string fret seven, and do a little hammer-on pull-off with the 8th fret. Like that. Then you're going to go back and play that 9th fret G. 7th fret B. And then next what you're going to do is to play the 10th fret B and slide up to 12. So what we should have so far is... So after you slide up to that 12th fret B, you're going to play the 8 on the high E string, the C note. 12th fret B, 11th high E, 12th fret B, 8th fret high E, 11 on the E, 12 on the E, and then slide up to 14. So after you slide up to that 14th fret on the high E, what you're going to do is to play 11 on the high E string, 12, 14, sliding up to 15. So that was... Then next what you're gonna do is that sort of puts your index finger here on the 12th fret, right? We're gonna play 12, 14, 15, and then pull off 14 to 12. Just like that. So you pick on the way up and uh, legato on the way down. Let's play what we got so far as a little checkpoint here. One more time. After this point in the lick, we're kind of back in the familiar minor pentatonic scale, so this stuff should all feel pretty homey to you if you've been playing for a minute. So what you're gonna do after you play that 12th fret on the high E string is we're gonna play the 15th B, 14th high E, 15th B again, 12th high E with a hammer on pull off to the 14. Just like that. Back to 15th B, 12th high E. So now you got. 
Then what we're gonna do is to play the 15th fret B string and give it a whole step bend up and down. Pull off to 12. And then go back to that 15th B and give it a whole step bend. And another one. And some juicy vibrato. All right, so again, that section is slowly. Just like that. So when we put the whole thing together, it should sound something like this. A quick note about the fingering of this lick too. Now Slash is primarily kind of a three finger sort of dude. He doesn't use his little finger very much in his playing, uh, which if you watch him play the intro of Sweet Chalamon, you'll see him play it like this, as opposed to, you know, like that. So whenever Slash plays it, he's mainly playing this with just his first, second, third fingers. But you'll notice that whenever I play it, I kind of tend to prefer, I'll use my little finger whenever I'm doing the stuff down here in the seventh position, the big stretchy parts. But after this, it's so like after I reach that 12th position, you know, where I do the second slide up, uh, right there, I'll shift to doing a three finger approach, like that. Mainly because it puts my ring finger on the 15th fret, which is where that bend is happening. The ring finger is always a better finger to bend with than the little finger, for me anyway. So for me, whenever I switch up to that 12th fret position, I'll change to a three finger sort of style. That way I could have my ring finger sort of in the power position to help me do that bend better. Your mileage may vary. So there you go guys, another sick lick to get you some chicks and hopefully solve one of the biggest guitar lick mysteries in history. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Heller Guitars. Also be sure to go and like my new Facebook fan page which you can find on facebook.com backslash Uncle Ben Eller. And also, if you're interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. We'll talk about rates and times and stuff. Thank you guys again for watching, and good luck with that one. It's a really cool lick. We've gotten a lot of requests for that one in the past, so I figured I'd finally deliver on one, you know? Let me know if there's any other licks or riffs you'd like to see featured on this show. Stay tuned for another cool lick next week. See you guys.